Well, hello, hello guys. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, as we are all just watching this crazy thing that's going on on the internet with the whole chili getting uh, putting, <laughs> put in the slammer for 180 days, um, I figured I'd try to work my magic and get on the inside to kind of interview him on his first day in jail. And I was able to use my assistant, which I have an assistant, by the way. Um, you know, my assistant, you just don't know him. But my assistant was able to get me this exclusive interview with Chili. And, you know, I'm really happy that he decided to come because it's been a while since he's been on the channel. And I know this is a hard time for him and his channel members. I know they really miss him a whole lot. And I figured I'd try to do my best to do my part and bring Chili back for you guys because, you know, he is, he is what he says he is. He is a uh, constitutional law scholar. So I, let's go ahead and get into this. So Chili, uh, glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by today. I'm glad you was able to hop on here. Um, uh, hopefully you didn't have any problems by the, uh, the torturous pigs that uh, run the uh, dungeon state where you're at. Um, I'm glad they let you out to do this interview. So my first question is, uh, what was you thinking when you when you went to court and you kind of made yourself look like a fool? Well, here's the thing: I, when I went into the courtroom, I, I, thank you, thank you, by the way, for letting me in here. Um, and I'm just gonna say it, by the way. I got I was in the courtroom because you know I know everything about the law, and this judge, these pigs. Um, you know, I was giving them thumbs up because I want them to know that I hate the police. I want them all to die, catch on fire, their children to get burnt, bone cancer, and all that stuff. That's what I want. But I had to make my mark and just kind of be like, yeah, I hate pigs. And that's that's when they put me in here. And I didn't even do anything. I did nothing wrong. But here I am. <laughs> well, I mean, that's one way to do it. I mean, if you're going to go to jail, I mean... um, Pissing off the judge is probably a good way of doing it. I wouldn't have recommended that strategy, but here we are. Um, so, <laughs> your channel, by the way, you're not going to have content on there for a while, I, I, I imagine. Um, I know you asked for your assistance um, after, you know, everything kind of concluded while you was being taken into custody. Uh, what's, what was that all about? Well, I do have an assistant, and um, I'm making sure um, that we get regular content about pigs and uh, getting my fundraisers out because I want to raise some money for activists, for lawyers, because, you know, they all can't be like me and being a smart, intelligent man. As you can see, my lawyer that I had was incompetent and was able to help me out because he didn't contain the knowledge that I do. But really quick, really quick, I, you know, I did let them know that I was a constitutional law scholar. So, I mean, that means a lot. Yeah, but you also said that was a moniker, though. You said that was a moniker that was given to you a long time ago. Um, and that kind of says you're not really a constitutional law scholar. I mean, can you clarify that? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> the, the, here's the truth, okay? For anybody that really thinks that I'm a true constitutional law professor, like, that I know a lot about the law has to be fucking retarded. Like, let's be honest. Who on earth would actually believe me, a failed actor, a failed Power Ranger, uh, somebody that loses every single case he's ever been in, uh, somebody that scams people out of the money, somebody that runs away from cops? Who, who would have thought that I would be an actual constitutional law scholar. You have to be fucking retarded to actually believe that. I mean, honestly, you have to be really stupid to actually believe that and giving me money to do this. I mean, you have to be really dumb. I, I don't know anybody on this planet that would actually think that I'm a legitimate, legitimate constitutional law scholar. I mean, that's almost as like people thinking that I'm actually a straight man, which... <laughs> By God, I, you, anybody that takes a look at me for one second knows that's not true. I hate women. That's why I beat on women, because I hate them. 
And you know, for somebody that thinks that I'm a constitutional law scholar or a straight man or an MMA fighter, it has to be really fucking dumb, like super stupid. And I don't understand anybody that would want to give money to something like that. Yeah, I wonder who would give money to do something like it was you, wasn't it? You, you, you that's watching. You, you're the one. You're the one that's you're <laughs> you're the one that's giving money, right? Don't don't do that. He's telling you right here, don't do that. But anyways, Chili, keep can can continue. Well, that's right. I mean, here's the thing. Here's the thing. People give me money because they're so gullible, and I hate every single one of those people that give me money. Let's be honest. I, I don't give a shit about them. Uh, the whole plan was for me to get put in jail. That was the plan from the very beginning. Because like I said, like I said, for somebody who thinks I'm a straight man and a constitutional law scholar, it has to be simply the dumbest person on the planet. I mean, they'd have to be really, really stupid and non-intelligent. I mean, they'd have to be like to give me money. I mean, they have to be absolutely fucking retarded they have to be it's just the way it is because you know if somebody's gonna believe any of that shit that i spill on my youtube channel they have to be really stupid really really stupid and i'm here's the thing people give me money thinking i'm a constitutional law scholar but the whole thing was i wanted to get caught i wanted to get put in jail because like i sell every single man in puffs that i want to roll around with them because you know that's my favorite thing in the world to do in here in prison I mean, jail, it's not prison, it's jail. I get to roll around with as many men as humanly possible. So many men, like so many. And here's the thing. As soon as I got here in jail yesterday, as soon as I got here in jail yesterday, you know, I had these men, there was like 50 of them. They walked up to me and they're like, hey, we're going to have sex with you and you're going to be our prison bitch. And I was like, no, -uh, no, I'm a constitutional law scholar and an MMA fighter. So what I did, I fought them all, all 50 of them. Then 50 more came and I fought them and I beat them all. And you know what I did after that? I had sex with every single one of them and I was on top. I was on top. I was the one. I'm the alpha. I'm the one. I'm the one. So many penises. And that's just what, that just had to happen, you know? That just had to happen. I fought a hundred dudes at once, gave my dominance. I was on top of every single one of these men here in jail. And I had sex with every single one, even the guards. I did, I did. And, you know, it's just the way it is. It's just how it is. So your your plan was to get put in jail so you could have sex with a lot of dudes. Now, I, I'm not here to shame your sexuality. You can do whatever you want, but why do you get on YouTube and say you're like ultra straight and have this vendetta against gay people and turn around and have sex with a hundred dudes, like all of them? Well, here's the thing. I have a lot of bars of soap. I brought them in my uh, constitutional law scholar bag. I had tons of soap. And I dropped it. I dropped it on purpose because, you know, there's, there's sometimes I like to be the bottom bitch. That's just, just the way it is, you know? That's just the way it is. And, um, you know, uh, <laughs> it, it, my fans gave me, you know, a lot of money in my commissary. Like, So I bought, like, a whole shit ton of soap. And, you know, I like to hang out in the showers. I, I like doing that. Um, and so here, 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 any of my fans out there that are stupid and completely dumb and retarded, um, that gives me money and actually believes I'm a constitutional law scholar, um, why don't you send me some more money for some more soap? Because I could totally use it. Um, not just for me. I am going to dominate and I'm going to make sure every, every prisoner, every man prisoner and guard in this place knows I'm the alpha male. I, <laughs> you know, that's how it is. That's just the way it is. Um, my moniker is the constitutional law scholar, but my other moniker is the Cox to do. <laughs> the Cox to <laughs> constitutional law scholar. <laughs> like straight there. <laughs>
Anyways, yeah, stop laughing at me. Stop laughing at me. I, I'm the Constitution of Lost <laughs> All right. Chile, I had enough. I, I don't think I can continue this anymore. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> fans of Chile that are giving him money, um, he said it right there. You have to be completely stupid to actually believe anything he said. And you gave money to this guy? He actually got on <laughs> in court, said that was his moniker, that that's not really what he is. And he also said he was a 30 year <laughs> professor of uh, MMA. Is that what he said? He might as well have said that. He said he fought uh, MMA for 30 years and he was a teacher. And um, there's no actual proof of that. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. But, you know, if you're, if you're always, if you guys are worried that Chile was going to be harmed and Jill, just know he actually says he's just fine. He uh, he's having a good time in there, just chilling out. So, yeah, if you guys want to, feel free uh, to uh, <laughs> not give money to this bastard at all, please. Don't be stupid. Really, really, don't be stupid. Yeah, just just don't be stupid because it, I'm not giving you money back. I already got it already. So you know, fuck you, <laughs> you stupid bitches. All right, I'm gone.